Hey everyone, hope everyone's having a great day, a great evening. It's nice to meet you all, my name is David. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you all an acoustic, uh, well, acoustic guitar lesson on the song, I Still Believe by Christian artist Jeremy Camp. Uh, Jeremy Camp, he's one of my all-time favorite Christian artists, uh, besides Casting Crowns and Sanctus Real. Um, I Still Believe in Walk by Faith and This Man are all my favorite songs of his. And the song I Still Believe, it's about his testimony, um, the trials and tribulations he was facing when he lost his wife due to cancer. And it was, I can imagine how hard it was on him because it's losing someone that you love and you're close to. And it's, it's a hard thing and it's hard to sometimes keep the faith. It's hard to understand, but we need to always remember that God's always with us and what he basically, uh, what the song is about, it's about his, um, him going through all that sorrow. It's scattered words, empty thoughts seem to pour from my heart. But it's during this time I feel your grace falling like rain, washing away my pain. And basically the conclusion of the song is I still believe, even when I can't see, even despite all of what's going on, I still believe. And it's a very inspiring song. It's a very beautiful song. And um, the movie, I still believe, came out last year. Um, I, I'm not sure what month it was, but if you haven't seen it, I recommend go seeing it, uh, going and watching it. It's, it's a really good, it's a good movie. It's a great movie. So anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to be playing the studio version of this song, which is the version, well, the original version that came out on the CD. I forgot the name of the CD. It's the same CD that uh, has Walk by Faith. Um, I can't remember the name of the CD at this, uh, at this point of time. It'll come back to me eventually. But, so, um, the song is played, first uh, capo, first fret, about that key right there. Um, there are occasions where he plays without the, uh, the capo on the first fret and he just plays it with no capo, but that's his uh, live unplugged performances, basically just acoustic performances. Um, but for this tutorial, uh, for this instructional video, we're just going to um, play a capo on the first fret. So, uh, so this song, I believe, has roughly about seven chords. They're not too bad. They're not... They're not um, difficult chords like bar chords or anything like that. I mean, uh, there, there's some, uh, the unplugged version has one bar chord. It's a B minor. But for this, um, for this, I'm just gonna use just uh, this B minor shape. But we'll get to that in a second. So first chord is a D sus two. So basically, what you do is you put your first finger on the G. Uh, excuse me, uh, the G string on the second fret, which is the third string, because um, referring to the guitar strings, uh, the bottom is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So first finger on the third string, second fret, and your ring finger, uh, this finger, on the third fret of the second string, the B string. So basically you're gonna get this sound. And it's, uh, it's, it's different from a D major, because a D major, you put your middle finger on the first string of the second fret, so you get. So for D sus 2, you just take that off. So that's what you get. And the second chord is kind of, it's difficult at first, um, because you have to get used to uh, muscle memory. So what you do is you stretch your pinky up to the fourth, uh, the fifth string on the, the A string on the fourth uh, fret, and you get what's called a D over C sharp. So that's the second chord. Third chord, take the pinky off, put the thumb, wrap the thumb over the uh, sixth string, the low E string on the second fret, and you get what's called a D over F sharp. There's multiple fo uh, formations of the chord. You can do a D, uh, D over F sharp like this, or this. But for the song, the way he plays it, he just wraps his thumb around uh, um, the string like this. It just finds it easier to transition between chords. And the fourth chord is a G over D, G with a D bass. So basically, you put your middle finger on the uh, sixth string, low E string on the third fret, and you get. So that's basically it. Um, that's basically um, accounting for the verses, the intro and the verses, and... Um, um, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to teach you the intro, the studio version, 
And uh, the studio version actually, it's uh, finger picking throughout the song, but for the intro, I'm just gonna uh, do finger picking for the intro and the rest, I'm just gonna strum it. So yeah, I'll get, uh, so let's get into it. Okay, so for the intro, the so first chord is D sus two. And um, basically for the intro, you're doing D sus two, D over C sharp, D over F sharp, G over D. And basically you play that basically around three times and it goes right into strumming. So I'm gonna give you the first pattern. So, so first string you're gonna be plucking is an open D string. Open, no finger on any string or anything. Just open. Okay, second note is the, um, excuse me, uh, G string on the second fret with the first finger on the G string, the uh, third string. Okay, and the third note is the um, B string with the ring finger on the third fret of the B string, second string. All right, so after that, you take, uh, you go right back up to the open D string. So it's like this. Oops, excuse me, try it again. Then after that, you go right back down to the um, G string, um, like this. So that's the first pattern of the D sus two. Next pattern, you're gonna take your pinky, you're gonna stretch it up to the fifth string on the fourth fret, the A string. So you're gonna do this. Like that. So basically it's the same pattern like this. Uh, throughout, so basically you start off like this. Then you go. Then you go into the G, uh, uh, D over F sharp. Like that. And then you go on the G over D, G with the D bass. So, I'm going to play a little slowly. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, when you go to the D over F sharp portion, he, what uh, Jeremy Camp does is he hammers on the string like this. Now you don't have to use hammer-ons or any of that, it just uh, sounds a little better in my opinion. So, let me try it with the hammer-ons. So when you're playing the G over uh, G over D portion, you want to play that three times, like this. Two, three, and then you just go into strumming. So with all of that, you should have this. First verse, which goes like this. Scattered words and empty thoughts seem to pour from my heart. So the strumming pattern is down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's very simple. It's just down ups, uh, pretty much the whole song. So down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Of course, a little faster, but... Anyway, so we got the intro down. So now let's move on to the strumming portion. Okay, so we're moving on to the first verse. And uh, remember, uh, the first chord is the D sus two. First finger, second fret on the G string, third string. Ring finger, this finger, on the second string, the third fret on the B string. So you're getting... And the second chord, remember, is a D over C sharp. Keep these fingers where they are. Just stretch your pinky up to the fifth string, the A string on the fourth fret. And take that pinky off. Keep these fingers here, these two fingers. 
wrap your thumb around the first string, uh, no, the sixth string on the second fret, the low E string, D over F sharp. And take that off, keep these two fingers where they are, put the middle finger up on the sixth string, uh, low E string on the third fret. And so, what the verse, it sounds like this. Scattered words. pre-chorus and we're introducing a new chord here this is a, a kind of a b minor i think it's not a b well it's not uh this is a b minor right here but um it's like a it's it has the sound of a b minor i don't know the actual name of the chord i think it's a b over d or b over g something like that if you guys know let me know in the comments so what you're doing is you're moving uh um, going from this chord the g over d moving it to the first finger, this finger right here, goes on second fret, fifth string, the A string. Middle finger goes on second fret on the third string, the G string. So you get this. Excuse me, hold on. Like that. But it's now that I feel. So what I did there is I moved, I, all I did was just move this first finger down one string to the uh, fourth string on the second fret and now this chord is called an asus four so but it's now that i feel your grace for like rain so what i did there is i moved from asus four back to the g over d Graceful like rain, and then I uh, moved this first this pinky down from the G string. I moved it down to the first string, the high E string on the second fret. And then it goes from every fingertip. It starts back on the B minor. Washing away. the top but it's now that I feel your graceful like rain from every fingertip washing away my pain and you're moving into the chorus so what the chorus does you're slowing it down a little bit on the D sus 2 and there's no D over F sharp in the chorus. It's just going like this. I still believe. D over C sharp. Oops, excuse me. D over C sharp. In your faithfulness. And you're doing, the, you're moving that first finger back down to the little high E string again. We're doing another D over F sharp, but we're doing a different shape this time. We're not doing this shape. We're doing what we're doing. Remember, first finger on the sixth uh, string, low E string, second fret, and the middle finger on the G string, third string, second fret. So even when I don't see, then we're moving on to an actual G major, but without this, uh, the, without the pointer finger on, the, without the first finger on the uh, second fret on the fifth string. So we're just do, doing this. Some people play a G like this. I just find it sounds better like this, and I think this is how uh, Jeremy Cam plays it. And then it goes back to I still believe. Then it goes back onto the second verse.
you're going back onto the pre-chorus again, remember it's the B minor. A sus4, G over D, and then, um, let's see, and then the, remember, taking the first finger down to the high E string, first, uh, second fret, first string, and you're going back into the chorus again, after, um, from every fingertip, washing away my pain, and going, I still believe, on the second chorus, and after the second chorus, you're going to go into the bridge, and what the bridge is like, I'll show you, it's like this, so, um, even when I don't see, I still believe. First chord of the bridge is remember the B minor, then the A sus4, G over D, then back to the A sus4, then back to the B minor, A sus4. And you're ending it off with a G major. Then this comes kind of the soft portion of the song. If you want, you can just finger pick it, or you can just strum it lightly, like. I still believe in your faithfulness. I still believe in your truth. And the. basically it um yep that's pretty much it um i don't think i left anything out um I'm not really a teacher i don't consider myself one but i i did the best um that i could for teaching you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the lesson and um remember to always hold on to god's promises even when you're faced with tough times rough times and you don't know what else to do just remember trust in god he loves you and he gave his only begotten son to die on the cross for your sins he loves you and remember, he promises he will never leave you nor forsake you. Even when we don't see, we should always still believe in God's promises. Now, I hope, you see, uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. If you guys like the video, share it with a friend. If they want to learn the song as well, uh, leave a like, uh, comment, and uh, subscribe if you're new, if, uh, if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm glad I got to teach you guys and spread a little bit of God's love for you guys and, and to tell you guys that there is hope. Just keep holding on to God. Keep holding on to Jesus. We love you, and I love you. God bless you all.